In this video, we are going to cover Hybrid Windows Desktop Administrator Advanced Roadmap. This is only recommended for our members who have completed Modern IT Support Career Roadmap. We assume you have already finished the courses and labs, and now you're moving to a little more advanced IT support skills. Now, why do we have a need for advanced IT support skills roadmap? The reason for that is pretty simple. In this career, when you land a job as an IT professional and you start working, immediately there's two thoughts that usually come to people. And one is, I am going to spend six months in this entry-level position and I want to move up to something more like systems administration, networking, cybersecurity, or cloud administration, or more than that. And the second one is that I want to stay in this because I see that I have coworkers and they are tier two and they're making good money, or maybe you like the way this whole career works and you want to spend more time. I know people that have spent in IT support many, many years because they can move into IT support in different directions and they like it. Maybe they don't like to learn something different than IT support world where you work with users, different type of technologies, but you always have this one thing in your mind that if this is beyond IT support, such as networking, cybersecurity, or let's say something databases, you always have this one trump card and you say, I'm going to assign it to the other person or the other engineer. And some people like that because they can make good money in this career and they can stay in this career as long as they know that there is a limitation to the salaries because it really, in a, in US, if you start with 45K, then the max you would go with 65, 75. And if some huge company uh, out there gives you more than that, that is just because the company is just too big. Now, another really cool thing about IT support is that IT support is changing. It's becoming modernized. It's not going to be the old school type of IT where you, when somebody say we want to hire IT support and it's always on, in the company and you're running around going under desk and everything like that, that is changing. And that's a good thing for a lot of IT professionals that you can even become a 100% remote IT support if you look around, indeed, you're going to find some of the remote jobs available for you. Of course, you're going to find different type of things like hybrid, IT support. They're going to call it remote right here. You see how it says remote right here. So this is really good stuff for a lot of people. You just need to make sure that you cover some of these, both of these roadmaps to be able to do things. Even if they hire you as a remote technician, you still have to work on the printer or something like that. You have to still guide them that how to fix a printer, how to do things. Maybe they may be using it in some other city, but you're still going to guide them. And that is why you really need to finish the first modern IT support career roadmap because in that, in second course, you do learn a lot about hardware as well. So now let's get started with the hybrid Windows desktop administration course and what well, courses. Let's go ahead and see what we have in this roadmap. So as you can see, once you start this roadmap, you are going to see advanced IT support, modern desktop administrator. So this is basically targeting MD100. Now you must be thinking, hey, Danish, MD100, there's MD101. Why aren't you guys doing that? It's actually this one. The MD101 is this one. But we want to teach MD100 now because we what we don't do in JSS is that if something brand new comes out, it's just brand new for Microsoft. That doesn't mean that every company have went to Windows 11 and the latest and greatest and everything is cloud. No, it's hybrid, meaning... Even if you go to companies now, they're still using 2016 server, yet we have 2022 server. So if somebody wants to really hire you, they're not going to just hire you for the latest technologies. They're going to hire you what people use in the businesses. In most cases, it's, it's kind of like half-half now. So you really need to learn about Windows 10 and the same type of skill set is being applied in Windows 10. And that's how you learn skills. When you go to companies, People teach you this stuff and you learn it from the coworkers, but of course that's very stressful to learn it so so fast. This is why you should take advantage of your labs right here. So the first thing you should do is to open this course and we're gonna go ahead and start the course. Now, as I mentioned before in every roadmap or introduction courses, that you can't skip things in JSS. If you skip it, you're ready for some sort of stress because we believe in skills in a step-by-step -step format. You cannot learn skills by jumping from chapter one to all the way to here, and then you think that th everything will be easy for you. Um, this is something, unfortunately, our members really need to take it seriously. 
So when you sit in front of this course, it's going to be a long course. Get your tea and chai ready and then make a schedule for yourself. Go over these chapters, divide it into maybe one or two. Uh, one day you need to finish like one chapter. Another day you, you can finish two chapter, uh, fast paces if you if you if you want to. And then once you get once you finish the chapters, this is where you're going to learn a lot of things. In advance, of course, courses we we will start with the beginning uh, type of thing, like you know what is this businesses, what is the mid size, medium size businesses. What is the enterprise level environment, uh, the interface of the Windows 10, the basic level, and then it goes to a little more advanced of upgrading Windows 10, autopilot, virtualization, using deployment strategies, deployment tools. And this is where you're going to learn WDS, image management, WSUS, Windows Server updates. So you see you're going to be touching some of the servers as well. Not in the chapter. In this, you're watching it. An instructor will do the demo, and they're able to teach and then tell you exactly how it is. Once you get to the modules, this is where when you come down all the way and when you start the modules, this is where your MD100 uh, lab will start. And exactly the same things that you have learned from the instructor in the beginning, some of these things will be repeated again. And then, of course, we will have uh, all of that in the video format, which we have done a very hard work creating all these videos for the labs. And then you have no issues. You can watch it step by step. You can watch the video first, then go to the lab. Or you can do the lab first and then come back to the video. Whichever works for you, you should do that. If you at some point feel like you don't want to come and watch the video and directly get to the lab, just simply come over here in your roadmap, click on the MD100, and now you're straight inside, in, you're straight inside the map. You see right here. You can directly open MDT, WDS, and all that kind of stuff. VPN, PowerShell, and this is where things are going to get a little more advanced. Now, this is the on-premises skills, meaning this is what a lot of people will have when you go and start working with somebody in offices. And if there's a user, he's using that or she's using that laptop and they took it home through VPN, they're connected and all that sort of stuff. If they are using heavily... Azure and Intune and Office 365, and they're managing their devices through that as well, then this is going to be your next course. And this is going to be the latest of your skill set. Meaning when you finish this, you are that modern IT support professional where you can go and apply to a lot of positions, even if they have 100% uh, cloud and they're doing a lot of Azure and Intune, you should be able to finish this course and be very confident in that side as well. So by com combination of these two, you're going to enable a lot of jobs for yourself in the advanced IT support world, because in reality, 90% of the companies that are going to hire you as an IT support professional or advanced IT support professional, it's most likely they are hybrid, meaning they have on-premises uh, system where they have a building and everybody goes in there or they may have computers connected to that building. And then they also have Azure, Intune and mix match type of things going on and they will hire you. Or maybe they're 100% cloud and they can still uh, hire you because of this course, because it's a long course. When you finish it, you will be able to do that. In this course, of course, we do not give labs because it is connected to Azure. So we will actually tell you how to get your own subscription, a trial subscription, or you can get your paid on-demand subscription from Microsoft and you can use that for a little bit. As long as you delete your stuff and you're not letting it run, you should not be worried about Microsoft charges. But if you do let it run, then of course it's going to be um, a pretty uh, big charges for you. So make sure you don't do that when you create your own account in here with Microsoft. Make sure to just go back and delete and, and use our best practices that we are showing in this course. Hopefully this course would really help you with some of these jobs and your skill set. A lot of people come to JSS for developing their IT support skills and these two courses are the way to go. Now, is there anything else you can do? Of course, you can go to your practice labs and find Windows 10 security lab, Windows 10 uh, administration labs, and there are management labs. There are many other things going on. So I'm sure at the, at the point where you feel like you're a very advanced person, you can go open any lab you like to. You can open Service Plus Lab. You can open Linux Plus Lab. This is up to you. How do you want to enhance your skills? But from our point of view, we have to set goals for people. And these two are the ones that we think if you finish it, you are at advanced level. Later on, you can do your, your customization all by yourself by coming to the practice labs and pick and choose whichever lab you like to enhance your skills even further. Thank you so much.